Hello my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. And if you're tuning in on Bahati Life Podcast, welcome back. Thank you so much for checking out Bahati Life Podcast on any one of your favorite podcasting platforms. It is an honor to be here once again and I'm so grateful to be able to pull charts for you once again. Now, the last few days have been very intense. I have to ask you guys, how are you holding up? How was Halloween for you, Halloween time? For many of you, you were guided, intuitively guided, intuitively led to hang back, to lay low. This is because, and it makes a lot of sense, this is because the charts during this time, meaning like what's going on in the cosmos, was very spiritually intense. And for many of you, you were intuitively guided and led by your spiritual teams, by your spiritual guides, to go into a place of safety and solitude. And I don't know why, but I'm hearing the word like protecting yourself from spiritual collapse or spiritual attack or psychic attack. As we all know, Halloween time is a great time for celebrating our ancestors, honoring our ancestors. Also, for those of you guys that don't take it to um, religion and spiritual practice, you might be trick-or-treating, you guys might be dressing up, going to different parties. Those things are totally true. And we all know that Halloween day and the day afterwards is a time where the veil is the very thinnest. This is when our ability to contact the spiritual realms is closest to us that it ever could be. It's a very spiritually dark time, not in the sense that it is negative in a bad way, but it's uh, the negative void. It's the empty space. It's the dark space for us to contact um, the spiritual realms, if that's something that you partake in. For many of you, you were actually guided to put that on pause this year. I do strongly feel that. If you're normally someone who celebrates, there's something about this energy this year that has felt like, not that you're in danger or anything like that, because that's not at all the vibe that is that I'm feeling, but for many of you, it feels like it's best for you to lay low, to stay quiet, to maybe pray, light a candle, but also do things that bring in more comfort. This makes so much sense, because if you're looking at the astrological chart, or as I'm looking at the astrological chart, there's a lot of friction in the skies that can create discomfort to make you understand that maybe you don't need to be everywhere and you don't want to be at the wrong place at the wrong time because this energy is creating enough friction that is guiding you to be like okay maybe it's best for me to lay low hang out cozy up watch a movie or whatever it is that you did so i'm really curious to see how many of you are how each of you decided to celebrate halloween this year if you celebrated at all me personally, I found myself in Savannah, Georgia. I went to go check out some of the cemeteries. Not, I don't believe that spirits hang out in cemeteries from my experience. And as someone who sees spirits and, you know, they, it's, they, they don't hang out in cemeteries. They're more places of peace and history. And that was why I was drawn to that area. And on top of that, Savannah is one of the more, one of the more spiritually active places in the US. So I wanted to check that out, of course during this time. So I did find myself there as well as celebrating with my favorite friends who was celebrating her birthday during that time. She is also a Scorpio, clearly, because it's her birthday. So guys, let me know on Instagram, on Twitter, on TikTok, uh, where were you at? How are you feeling? What was the vibe? If you want to send me shots of what you guys were up to, feel free to tag me at Bahati Life. But let's go ahead and dive into this full moon that's happening in the sign of Taurus, which is why you're most likely tuning in with me today. So I have the chart pulled up on my left. I've got some incense burning in my right hand. I'm just gonna be vibing with this. This is my second time pulling the chart. The first time was when I wrote the complete guide to 2022. So I have not seen this chart since the very beginning of this year. It's gonna be interesting to kind of recapture this and relive this now in this moment. Um, the first thing that's standing out to me right away is this huge, square that it is that we're having having in the cosmic skies 
basically whenever astrologers or whenever I see a square that's happening in the chart, I already know right away that we're going to be experiencing a lot of friction, a lot of challenges, a lot of tension. I have never felt ever in my life that this is a bad thing. I've always celebrated it. I've always supported this as something that creates and initiates the change that we need in order to push us into new ground, new territory, usually some things that we wouldn't necessarily do all on our own. I will say from personal experience and you know, give for those of you guys that have fear or you're terrified because of the things that the internet tells you about having squares and, and challenges within the chart, this is nothing to fear. I myself have a natal chart that is full of squares and granted, I did not have a smooth sailing childhood or young adulthood or even adulthood, but it's those bumps in the road, that turbulence that has helped me has helped shaped me into the person that it is I am today. It's made me ambitious, made me motivated. It always has me wanting to strive for more, even if that comes with some some bumps in the road or reroutes or detours in, in life that have always been spiritually guided, have always been spiritually led, and have always really taken me on a grand adventure here on earth. Not only in my personal life, in my relationships, in my business, everywhere, you guys, everywhere. So this is something that we are absolutely going to see at the time of this full moon happening in the sign of Taurus. Taurus is earth sign, you guys. It's also ruled by Venus. It loves to be supported, it loves to be stable, it likes to be in luxury, it loves to be around beauty, it loves to feel comfort. And if those things are questioned or if those things are taken away, Taurus energy can say, I will do everything in my power to fight for it, and to make sure that I bring it back and that I secure that bag. The one thing you're not gonna take away from Taurus energy is comfort, luxury, and support. It's always going to invest. It's going to invest in a grand way, in a way that makes sense, in a way that's practical, and usually those investments pay off in the long run. During this full moon, however, regardless of what Taurus rules within your chart, and we will dive into the more specifics of how and what I, I think and what I believe for each of you guys individually, but regardless of what Taurus rules within your chart, what house it rules, because it does rule something within your chart, I want you guys to tap into, reconsider, manifest, set intention around luxury, support, stability, material, ism materialism not in the sense that you are wasting your resources or wasting money but that you are prioritizing where your spending is at what will make you feel comfortable in this existence what is going to make you feel comfortable in this body as spiritual beings sometimes we forget the support or sometimes we don't want to acknowledge the importance of tangible things and high quality goods when in reality they comfort us they are not the one only thing that's going to make us feel happy but they're one chunk of the, the greater piece of the pie taurus naturally rules the things that we can put our hands on the tangible things the tangible goods this is not exclusively an opportunity for you for you to spend your money this is an opportunity for you to set intention around investing and resources and comfort and support for some of you guys it's going to show up as real estate for some of you guys it's going to show up as high quality linens taurus is notorious taurus is notorious for investing in really the finer things in life and it always pays off. For some of you guys, this could be the diet that it is that you're eating, the quality of the food that it is that you're eating. You might have gone from quick meals to now hearty, earthy, grounding, stabilizing roots and, and organic, really high quality um, dietary practices that comfort your belly, fill your ba belly, nourish your belly. Those things may seem insignificant, but they are so valuable to again creating this feeling of I am safe, I am whole, I am sound. If you are not there yet, this is the full moon to begin to manifest those things. If you do not have the resources, this is the full moon to manifest those things into existence. Speaking of manifestation, we are entering into some really turbulent financial times. 
we are not surprised by this. I don't feel like anybody would be surprised by seeing this. They've been talking about a recession for the longest time. However, they haven't completely announced it. This is because a lot of these planets, Neptune, Jupiter, Uranus, Mars, less Mars, but more the other planets that I just noticed, or that I just mentioned, those planets are retrograde. So there is a lot of hesitation when it comes to fully initiating a title on anything. And this also includes the things that is that we're seeing in our society. The truth is, is that we are really in prime time uh, recession times. It's, it's clear, it's obvious, but the only reason again why they're not announcing it is because these planets are retrograde. Stopping energy from fully calling something what it is or expressing fully expressing it for what it is I do want you guys to financially prepare for um, More dips and curves and twists and turns when it comes to our finances when it comes to our resources also when it comes to real estate Especially at the time of the full moon. These are dips and swings that were already building but we're going to start to see more signs of it there may be major announcements that we see in the news at the time of the of, at the time of the full moon things that have to do exactly uh when it comes to or have exactly to do with um the earth how we're taking care of the earth investments real estate finances stocks these are things that are going to swing up things that are going to swing down if i were you I would work magic around stability when it comes to your finances, stability when it comes to spending, and also your your intuition. I, I really strongly, as I'm saying this, my crown chakra is tingling, I really strongly suggest that you rely heavily on your intuition and not so much on what logically makes sense or trends. The way that things are falling in the in the planets right now, you're not going to find that things are following trends. Things are swinging in radical ways, radical shifts. We're also seeing this in how people are moving. The way that we have um, realistically have been able to plan and predict things in the past as far as how society kind of trends are not things that we can do at this moment in time. It's way too unpredictable. If you're finding anyone on the internet or telling you that this is the way that it's going to be and that this is exactly what you can expect, I really want to question that because literally there's so much of a black hole or a black space, a blank space here that as human beings and even intuitive beings, there's, there has to be the element of surprise here. There has to be. There is such a thing as divine intervention and divine wisdom and divine vision that not that here on earth, we're not always going to be able to see it. No matter how intuitively gifted you are, we can get close to it, but we're never gonna be able to see that full picture. Having said that, I'm not saying that we as human beings should fear the unknown we should plan for the unknown and the way to do that is honor the fact that there are some things that we can't see but we can plan for it by being intuitively open and aware that there is the element of surprise here so what do we do here we lock down our finances that doesn't mean that we stop spending or that we restrict ourselves in any way shape or form it it means that when opportunity prevents presents itself that we step step into that let's say you do want luxury goods maybe you can find those things consignment or you can find those th things secondhand or you can um repurpose certain things or whatever the case is so that's one way of finding things you can save i really strongly suggest working money around i'm sorry working magic around money resources, financial inv advances, especially when it comes to incorporating divine intervention over your finances and your investments. Spirit will lead you to the best money-making opportunities or money-securing and money-stabilizing opportunities. For many of you, you'll be able to wait at the right moment, the right time in order to sell real estate 
um, and also to invest or sell stocks. These are things that are happening here. I also see a heightened energy when it comes to environmentalism, in investing in environmental stocks, things that revolve around like green living, electricity, um, or energy conserving, how we use our energy or how we um, like sustainable energy resources. Those are things also perma, like permaculture. I don't know if that's something that that's what spirit just told me. I don't know what permaculture is, but anything having it, well, permaculture, whatever that is. And also if someone can tweet that at me or explain that to me, I would love that. The one other thing that is that I want to talk to you guys about is for many of you guys, we're going to need to explore the issues revolving around power control manipulation. Not manipulation in the sense of using your power in a way to take advantage of other people. Manipulation is a word that is constantly used and abused. Manipulation has, is your ability to understand how you have the power and the control to initiate change that matches or helps you to secure your intention or manifest your intention. That's what manipulation actually is. If your intention is for evil, then of course manipulation is going to be something that's evil. If your if your um manipulation is for something that's positive and constructive, then of course and that's going to be your outcome. So, you have to understand that how you think, how you move, what you're attracted to are things that are reflections of the subconscious and your subconscious beliefs at the time of the full moon let's not only are we going to work about on the earthy tangible but we're going to work on the subconscious emotional like the emotions the subconscious the magic the dark the things that it is that we may not necessarily be comfortable seeing experiencing exploring sharing these are things that we may find ourselves kind of like holding secret things that we may be uncomfortable um, discussing, sharing, intimacy, sexual expression, obsessions. These are things that Scorpio naturally rules. Are you comfortable with the dark places that is that your mind goes? Are you okay with your attraction, your obsessions, or your sexual deviances, if there is that? This is a time at the full moon to explore that. There is the sun that is navigating and transiting through the sign of Scorpio. So the sun is where our energy, our light is focused on. Our moon is the thing that is that we need in order to feel supported and stabilized. The sun lights up the secrets of the Scorpion energy here that is in every single one of our charts. So secrets can be lit up at the time of the full moon, things that you may not necessarily want to see or hear or even express, but they're going to be, they're going to show up. These are dark feelings or things that we may not, there may be shame around it, or there may be secrets there, or addictions that you have to face, or subconscious fears that you've been running away from. And the fact that you're running away from them, they kind of control the path that you're allowed to take because you won't allow yourself to see certain things or address or deal with certain things. Now's the time to deal with it. You have to show up, you have to face them. It's beautiful, it's potent, it's magical, it's it's phenomenal, it's here, it's present. Me personally, I'm gonna be in Costa Rica for this. I specifically and intentionally arranged a beautiful trip to Costa Rica with some really magical people here in the Bahati Vibe tribe. They're gonna be meeting us down there or meeting me down there, me, myself, and I, we are gonna be working some rituals, working some magic in the most beautiful watery place I could ever think of, exploring the emotions, exploring the subconscious, exploring adventure, and pushing past a lot of fears in new comfort zones, and, and the most beautiful thing that is that we can think about, that is the most Scorpio Taurus thing I could ever, I could ever, <laughs> and I'm definitely here for that. So that's how I'm gonna be working this, my magic, I will not be doing an oil during this time, of course, because I will be in Costa Rica um, exploring there. But I do want to encourage you guys to work magic around, you know, your own personal power, your own ability to show up for yourself and 
to, to heal and to experience and to explore and to release anything that stops you from feeling powerful, from feeling in control, from feeling, um, it's, it's interesting too that I said in control because it's like this energy of like release, the ability to allow yourself to completely expel and to let go and release anything that is holding you, binding you, holding you back. Um, I had a friend of mine just recently let me know today actually that for the first time in his life he's completely been called to release um, addictions, to release this this trauma that he's he's been holding on to, um, the emotions that he's been holding on to. He's finally allowing someone to see it, to hear it, to feel it. These are things that this is not his first time, but he's showing up for himself once again. He actually went to a therapist in the past and she actually kind of shamed him when he was sharing all of his dark thoughts and feelings and he, well he felt shame the fact that he's coming back and confronting those feelings is huge and this is such it literally is a prime example a perfect example of the the way that the charts are right now we simply cannot continue to live in the same way that we always have we have to do differently in order to experience differently we have to completely let go of our fears in a control environment that makes us feel safe and supported so that we can be happy, thriving, budding, abundant, beautiful beings that we are. And usually our biggest obstacle and the, the only thing that really stands in the way of that is ourselves. So that's what I can see for you guys at uh, the time of this full moon. Again, it's going to be November 8th, 11, 8 at 6.03, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please, I encourage you to set your intentions, work your magic. I highly recommend um, Deep Waters Healing Candle, the Banish Fix Candle. I represent the Pluto Death, I'm, I represent, but I also recommend the Pluto Death Oil. And I also highly recommend the Money and Abundance um, Oil. And I also recommend the Money and Abundance Fix Candle. Those are things that are going to really shift your finances, your resources in a great way. They're going to protect your finances, your spending, and even create more opportunity and abundance during times where things are very, very tumultuous and unpredictable at best. I've always felt that if you have a spiritual team and the planet's working for you, nothing can work against you. And the best thing you can do at the end of the day is set this set the intention, work your magic, and make things happen on the spiritual realm. I hope this makes sense, you guys. Please let me know if it does. Please give this video a thumbs up if it resonated because it does make a difference for me, my energy, my, my channel. I'm sending you guys all of my love. Please make sure that you are checking out the Huddy Life podcast because I upload on that as well. And until then, you guys, make sure that you're following me on Instagram and any of the other social media platforms because I'm constantly sharing uh, content for you guys there to help you, guide you along your way. Until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing, all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. The Hadi Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey.
blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.